So after Father Howard actually got convicted or whatever of child molesting, it was this big joke that I really did get molested and I just blocked it out and blah, 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 you know. But that same night, I found out about this movie with Michael Keaton. I was told to watch this movie called Spotlight, and it's this movie that exposes supposedly the Catholic priests and the whole molesting thing. And this movie is only based in Boston, but I'll get into it as we move along. So anyway, I decided to watch this movie randomly on this night. May It's probably May 30th. I probably posted this after midnight, but it was probably at like early in the morning on May 31st. And what happened that night was really weird. It was the hundred, yeah, it was the 150th day. So it was May 30th. And I talked about how it was the 150th day of the year. Child molesting in Gematria equals 150. I also was randomly watching this movie then. And it was 863 days after Father Howard, the child molesting priest that I know. Uh, 863 days after he was kicked out of priesthood or whatever. And 863, the 150th prime number. So 150th prime number, child molesting equals 150. It was the 150th day of the year. I also brought up the bishop when I was confirmed. This dude scared the crap out of me. I don't, you know, who knows if he's really a child molester, but he was, he was just a creepy dude. He had the creepiest eyes. He wore his little sheep herding outfit when we got confirmed. I remember thinking this guy definitely is a child molester, weirdo, whatever. And I typed it his name with Jabatria, and he also equals 150. And, you know, who knows? Who knows if this guy really was a child molester? This guy creeped me out a lot more than the guy who was actually, you know, Father Howard actually was a child molester. This guy creeped me out a lot more. So anyway, the the, the chain of events that happened, I started watching this movie, and you can see I'm barely into this movie, and I'm upstairs, and my daughter's laying in bed, and she's watching uh, TV, and for whatever the reason, she's watching the, the Simpsons, and then when the Simpsons were over on the DVR, you know, the TV shuts off and it gets quiet, and then she wanted me to turn on some other cartoons. And the reason that she's watching The Simpsons is because my girlfriend all of a sudden in the last couple of months has been recording all of The Simpsons and it's ridiculous on our DVR. Like every time I try to watch a basketball game, I got to turn off like 10 episodes of The Simpsons in order to watch like the NBA finals the other day. I had to turn off like a bunch of episodes of The Simpsons. Anyway, this episode of The Simpsons comes to an end and... My daughter was like, I want to watch something else, blah, blah, blah. And I had just started started watching this on my computer, and I was kind of watching The Simpsons at the same time, you know. And I turned on the guide on the TV, and I saw that South Park was on. And my daughter hates this show. She's only six. And she probably shouldn't be watching it anyway. There's lots of stuff on South Park that, you know, you don't really want her to see, like the one where they beat off the dog and stuff. And... I turned it to South Park just as a joke, and I said, you know, hey, let's watch South Park. And when I turned it there just to kind of see her reaction, she's, like, freaked out and got mad. But when I turned it there, the episode about child molesting priest was on. And just think about that. I just start start watching this film in regards to exposing child molesting priests and then I turn it to South Park randomly, and the the South Park episode that's on is about the child molesting priests. And the, the priest in South Park, he doesn't molest kids, but he goes to the Vatican to try to stop it and whatever else. And he finds out that all the priests molest kids, and he's one of the only ones who doesn't. Anyway, I looked up this episode of South Park, and... If you notice, 
it's the 87th episode of South Park. The word priest in gematria equals 87. Priest equals 87. Catholic priests in gematria equals 87. The title of the South Park episode, Red Hot Catholic Love in gematria equals 87. The priest who, you know, the joke is that he molested me and he also did molest somebody. Howard Fitzgerald is his real name. His name equals 87 in Gematria. This also happened on May 30th. That equals 87 in Gematria. The film Spotlight that I started watching, the whole thing in this deal is how they expose that there's 87 uh, molesting priests or whatever. Let me find it here. Through their research, they develop a list of 87 names and begin to find their victims to back up their suspicions, right? Priest equals 87. This movie, is, this movie, they come up with a list of 87 priests. The 87th episode of South Park is about the child molest of priests. The title of it equals 87. Priest equals 87. The, the priest who supposedly molested me, 87. You can't make this up. I also pointed out that the South Park episode came out on the 184th day of the year, July 3rd. And I don't know exactly what it is about 184, but there's some, it's some significant number in regards to the Jesuits and some other things that I've talked about. Later on, I'm going to mention another priest that was really cool and whatnot. The last priest is basically when I, I, I quit going to church with Father Howard, but this other priest, you know, I had to go on Christmas or I went on Christmas and some other days randomly. And this priest is a really cool guy, Father Paul. And Father Paul died 184 days after the Jesuit order or the Jesuits anniversary on September 27th. It was also six months and three days and he died age 63. He also died at Creighton. The Jesuit University, he just randomly dies in a bathtub on a date numerology of 63. Father Paul equals 63. But anyway, just wanted to point that out really quick. It was the 184th day of the year. My daughter's full name in Gematria, Claire Bobby Joe Cowgill, equals 184. My nephew's name also, his full name, Colin Ryan Hansen, equals 184. And this big, this, the big date in regards to the angel Gabriel that I've mentioned is 184 days after my birthday, May 13th. And if you write out angel Gabriel, it equals 513, a lot like the date of May 13th. And if you go back over a year ago, I have some videos in regards to the Canadian wildfires. And this, they interviewed this lady named God Elive Ohello. And a bunch of stuff is pointing me to the date of May 13th or 513. That date is in this huge, I'll leave a link in the description, but that date is in a huge connection in regards to the Virgin Mary as well. And the angel Gabriel was the one who told the Virgin Mary she was going to birth Jesus Christ. But let's move on here. So 184th day of the year, my daughter's name equals 184. Diocese of Des Moines equals 184. That's where Father Fitzgerald was placed on leave or permanent leave. This diocese also is where Pope John Paul II came to. Pope John, Pope John Paul II, I just discovered this today, but Pope John Paul II, the only Pope to ever visit Iowa. He visited Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines, Iowa equals 151 in Gematria, just like Jesus Christ. He supposedly was only with his parishioners for 42 minutes. And they even talk about something about page 33. Pope John the Paul, J Pope John Paul II died on 4-2, April 2nd. And the bishop at the time in the Diocese of Des Moines he became the bishop on 4-2.
you know, and then you think about the 42 generations leading up to Jesus Christ, the beast that rules for 42 months in the book of Revelation, the Gutenberg Bibles, the 42-line Bibles, the original Bibles, 42, the secret to the universe and the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Freemason equals 42, Pope Francis, the first Jesuit Pope. But he, if you if you look online, you'll find a picture of him doing the hidden hand symbol because he's also a Freemason. And supposedly, Catholics can't be Freemasons. They can be Knights of Columbus, but you're not supposed to be able to be Catholic and be a Freemason if you look up in history and whatnot. And then we got the Pope, the leader of the Catholic Church, doing the hidden hand symbol, just like the Freemasons do. Because clear back when all of this stuff was created, the Jesuits and the the Church of England because of King Henry VIII, by the way, King Henry VIII equals 191, just like the society, or just like Society of Jesus, which the Jesuits are. I'm just telling you, all of this is interrelated. They're all intertwined. They've all been working together to create division through your whole life. So you got you got your King James Bible believers. You got the Catholics. They created division, but they're all just controlled by the same people or the the same entity whatever whatever controls it it's all it's all one and the same and they want people to think that it's two separate things it's the same thing and it is coded by the numbers that way anyway let's move on here so i noticed in gematria spotlight equals 126 and also 117 reverse and the only reason that I watched this movie was because I was told it was a Michael Keaton film. And he's probably the most famous guy in the movie and whatever else. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton equals 117 in Gematria, just like Spotlight, the reverse method. And he works for the Boston Globe. Boston Globe equals 126, just like Spotlight. It was the spotlight team on the Boston Globe who supposedly exposed this in real life. They, and in reverse, Boston Globe equals 171. You know, just a rearrangement of 117. It's funny, there's there's a lot more going on with this. And I'll explain it, hopefully I'll explain more of it if I remember. But to just today or just in the past few days, we had the death of Batman, Adam West. And... The same day that Batman died at my work, we randomly just like jokingly wore these uh, pins on our shirt that were from the Batman Lego movie. And then ba I found out Batman died and Michael Keaton, the original Tim Burton Batman. I've talked about Michael Keaton a whole lot. He's in that movie Birdman. He's also the dad in the movie Herbie Lovebug with Lindsay Lohan. And Lindsay Lohan is wearing the the shirt the San Francisco shirt with the Golden Gate Bridge and the blood moon on it. And then when Pope Francis visited the United States, he left the United States on the same night that we had the last blood moon of the Tetrad and whatnot. So in the film, and, and towards the beginning, this guy, Phil Saviano, is the guy who the spotlight team finds out that it's just more than one priest and he gets the list to 13 priests, right? And then the whole list gets to 87. But look at this guy. His, this guy's name is Phil Saviano. Hopefully you can see that there. If not, you can watch the movie for yourself. But his name is Phil Saviano. That equals 126 at 171, the reverse method, right? Just like Spotlight, just like Boston Globe. You know, I mean, or not exactly like Spotlight, but all 126. Also, he gets the list to 13. 13 in the reverse method equals, if you write it out, equals 117. Just like Michael Keaton. Just like Spotlight. One of the big things in regards to Father Howdy supposedly molested me too was when he came up and put his, eye, his hands over my eyes and said, guess who? And then started massaging my shoulders. 
I just documented that guess who equals 117. 